are. We've got an Adventure Zone special today. I am super excited to present to you the Wilson Traverse. So I have got my trusty partner Spencer with me for this trip. Really excited. Currently we're at the Killpacker Trailhead and we will be staying up the trail just a few miles, getting all situated and then doing a beautiful traverse. Here we are at another wilderness area, Lizard Head Wilderness. And one of the main events is going to be El Diente Peak. Of course, we're going to do Mount Wilson as well in the Traverse. And now here's our traditional You Are Here location. And the red line, I am going to say, makes it very obvious how we are going to go straight up to El Diente Peak. And from there, we will be conducting the Traverse. Obviously, that's not on this map, but, but for now, we're heading off and excited. See you up there. And we do have a special guest star today. And we just met her here at the trailhead. Found her just like this. We are very excited to escort you, Barbie. We will see you at the top of the peaks. Yeah, thank you for setting up the tent, Barbie. Really appreciate that. All right, Spencer and Barbie look like they're ready for the night. Kick ass. All right, well, Spencer and I did a little recon because the hike into the campsite was very short. I'd say under three miles. You do want to go a little bit past the bigger creek crossing if you want to have access to water. So that's going to be good advice for that. But man, it is beautiful up here. Waterfalls, everything looks perfect. So we will be hitting it first thing tomorrow. Look at that. Oh, time for bed. Oh, oh sorry, Barbie. Buenos dias. We are just leaving our campsite now. We're just above the Killpacker Creek after the creek crossing. And we are heading on up to the Wilson Traverse. El Diente will be our first peak today. And uh, it's a beautiful scene. We got a waterfall rolling and the peak is spectacular from here. So hopefully you enjoy the trip. We'll see you on the Traverse. Good work, Barbie. Wowzers. There's El Diente. Okay, when you see this bigger boulder and kind of the Karen wall, right there, if you will, that means it's time to turn up. That's what it's saying. 
And somewhere through here, a little bit nervous about not even seeing tracks. We are up deep into this big, beautiful basin here, and we have just made the turnoff, which you can see behind me now, onto the El Diente Peak Trail. So that is key to recognize that area in that big basin. There's kind of an open area of water there. So we are cruising really steeply now, straight up this hill over that snow. And then behind me here is El Diente Peak, kind of over to my right. So that is the story there. And this trail is a little windy. I would definitely recommend running a GPS and cruising on up. We'll see you there. This is a pretty steep trail, but meticulous foot placement using bigger rocks really makes it so you don't have to slide at all. So I'd say we're cruising up here pretty efficiently. We have gotten into a gray gully. I'm not sure if it's the gray gully, and it does look like a well-trodden and fairly easy ascent. Slightly more right than I first would have guessed. Coolness. And in the background, I think, is the organ pipes. opposite side of the summit and kind of spiral up to it so you'll be on climber's right for the summer push all right summer push from the back up we go final little ridge traverse nice work spencer Woo. spencer and i have cranked it off and it is pretty darn sweet up here we'll give you some views all around and they are good so El Dante is what Carl Decker is going to be presenting this morning. And early this afternoon, we'll be presenting Mount Wilson. All right, that is Wilson Peak on the left, Gladstone Center, and then Mount Wilson on the right. And then obviously we're standing on El Dante Peak. And this was the approach basin that we took down in there. The El Diente side, you're more on the north side. And then once you finish this dirty road, you can see, then I believe we kind of head right of the organ pipes up there and go that way. Nice. Yeah. 
first is paying off. We have blazed across a really cruisy section of relatively flat ridge, ending in that little chimney where Spencer's coming up right now. And things look like they're about to change. Got a little more cruisy, and then some interesting stuff coming up. So it's gonna be cool. There is no question that the finish of this route is the real deal. So really exciting, pretty intense. Class four climbing with some loose rock on a narrow ridge. Reminiscent of the Little Bear Traverse. Not near as long, but pretty exciting. Traverse has been completed. All we need to do now is get down safely. And I am saying that was more difficult than I expected. In my opinion, it was tougher than the Crestone Traverse. Uh, that's not everyone's opinion, but it's, it's mine. So, and really getting up here to Mount Wilson, the last move, and I don't know if we were on route or not, was fairly difficult. Felt like an easy class five to me, but, uh, I've been wrong for. So anyway, we have pulled it off and we are psyched. So there is Lizard Head. In the background, you can even see Vermilion Peak, Golden Horn, and Pilot Knob, the red big outcropping on the right. And then as we pan to the left, this is a 13er Gladstone. And then further left is actually Wilson Peak. The Rock of Ages, top of that trail in the pass, there in the red dirt at the saddle. And then looking back, El Diente and the Traverse we just completed. Spencer has found the right way. Not that scary class five thing. And that's a much better way down. Not that it's not scary. This is a gnarly descent. Some There's a summer ridge right there.
We are on the final leg of this adventure, heading down from Mount Wilson. Did the traverse, started with El Diente, and it was a steep, talusy climb up to El Diente. Be prepared for that. Fairly loose, but reasonable. You got up pretty good. And then once you hit the ridge on El Diente, we should have turned a little earlier and before the ridge left and headed for El Diente. Made a little mistake, not very bad. <laughs> because you do kind of want to ascend in this gray gully on the right. That works. Then the traverse toward El Diente was pretty tricky. Not very difficult, but you were winding around the towers, so route finding GPS is key. I already know. <laughs> <laughs> and then the uh, track got really cool, actually. The bulk of the descent across the saddle was pretty just average and cool and really pretty. And then as you started going back up toward El Diente, it got downright exciting. And there was plenty of class four, not a lot of route finding because you're on the ridge proper most of the way, but some pretty exciting exposure being on that knife edge. And the final stretch to El Diente was comprised of two steep, different steep hitches that you saw in the video. And that last steep pitch to the summit was intense, really intense. Um, they both were. The catwalks were exciting, but wow, the final bit to the summit was really amazing. So be prepared for all that. And then the descent off El Diente, you go back the way you came on that scary climb, get into the really dirty, loose gully. And that gully descent was ugly. I would not try to do that as an ascent. And if you know me, you know I go up some pretty ugly stuff, but this was amazingly bad, incredibly loose. Helmets for sure, up or down. I was stupid enough not to wear one, but uh, that was ugly. And then once you got through with that, it was just a long slodge back through that Tallahassee Valley and into the beautiful uh, waterfall area and we're almost back to the campsite now just left the waterfall area so hopefully you enjoy this trip it was incredible i would rate this traverse as being slightly more difficult than the crestone traverse on a technical level you know climbing i felt like i had to climb a little harder and probably equal on the route finding a little bit tricky on both both maroon bells and the little bear traverse being harder on the climbing for sure. Maroon Bell is also harder on the route finding. So just to put it all in perspective, that is my opinion and uh, opinions vary. So anyway, it was kick-ass. Glad you could join me. We'll see you on the next one. Hey, I just wanted to bring this to light before I close the video. Spencer and I were talking about how you would happily just climb Mount Wilson. And that gully descent we took would not be happy and i'm not aware of another route maybe there is maybe you could get it from navajo basin but i did want to put that out there and maybe just ask you guys in the comments is there a better way to get up mount wilson because the way we came down did not seem like a good way up i'd definitely be curious probably something from navajo lake i guess not sure love to hear anyway please comment we'll talk to you soon